Hey guys, it's Anais. For those of you who don't know me, I am the art director for the summer for Camp Harborview. This is my 10th summer with Camp Harborview and I'm so excited to still have the opportunity to work with you guys this summer. So without further ado, let's head into our first activity for the summer. So first activity I thought would be appropriate was to make animals out of this, what is it called? Crayola Model Magic. So I was thinking we could all make our favorite animals out of our putty. If only I can get this open. I might have to cut this out. Okay, I got the package open. So basically it's like just this really stretchy putty and you can make it into any shape and any form. So I was thinking a sculpture and since I love elephants, as you can see, you have an elephant necklace here. I'm thinking I'm going to make an elephant. You guys can go ahead and make actually whatever type of animal you love, whatever your favorite animal is, a unicorn, a, a bird, a lion, whatever that may be. But I'm going to make an elephant. So if you want to learn how to make an elephant, watch this. So first, you're going to be taking pieces off for the limbs, the head, the trunk, the ears, the legs. And then you're going to take a bigger piece and you're going to leave that for the body of the animal whatever animal you're choosing. So basically right now we're just gonna separate our pieces and I'll wait for you guys. I don't know how fast you got that package open so I'll just guys I'll give you guys a second to catch up. All right so hopefully you have um, a number of pieces in front of you. So my first um, the, the thing I think we should do first is, make the bottle, body of the animal. So I'm just gonna roll with my two hands like this. And I'm just gonna roll the body out of the elephant. Elephants are pretty big, so I might have to add another piece. I forgot, I have to look at my model. I would recommend printing out a model of your animal beforehand, but since I have this little elephant for reference, I'm gonna do my best just to copy this. So I see there's a really round body so I'm just gonna go ahead and make the body. So basically just keep adjusting your fingers and just keep rolling around until you have a really smooth body and there's no wrinkles. So I have about a couple more to do and I would say that's good. So we're gonna leave that for the body. Next, I'm gonna make the head shape. My head actually has a trunk on it so I'm gonna have to make that separately. So I'm just gonna make a little ball for his head. And just, again, with the same technique, just take it between your hands and just roll it. And boom. Elephant head. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and make the trunk. So the trunk is long and skinny, so I'm gonna do that. And just leave it like that for now, and then when I add it in, I'll curve it and all that. And now I have to make two ears and four legs. So I'll make the ears first. For the ears of any animal, instead of rolling it like we were before, I would say flatten it because a lot of ears for animals are long and flimsy, you know, just like us. So I would say just, you know, stretch it out, whatever size. I think that size is good for me. That's my first elephant ear. And this is gonna be my second one. I don't know if this is proportionate, but we'll see how this turns out. So just, again, flatten your dough or your crazy putty. Sorry, I'm thinking I'm making pizza here. <laughs> and, you know, I think this is a good size for my second ear. So I have my two ears, my trunk, my head, and my body. The last piece you have to make are the legs or the arms or wings or whatever your animal has. Make the limbs of it. So I'm just going to take few small pieces and just roll these really thin because animals have really thick feet. So I think I'm just gonna make it like that. I just flatten the bottom a little bit, roll it into a little cylinder, and I think that's a good size for the leg. All right, on to my second leg. Let's see. I think that'll be fine for the second leg. Not even, but it doesn't have to be perfect, you know? Okay, 
On to the third leg, guys. Boom. And last leg, done. So I would suggest you stick your um, legs or limbs down first when you want to connect the animals. Make sure you guys can see that. It's better. So you just stick down the legs. These are the two back legs. These are the two front legs. Then you're just going to take your big body animal and just try to um, connect the limbs of the elephant to the body. So basically by that, you just press it on really firmly and you just stretch it out on the corners all the way around. See, I'm just molding the clay to each other. That's one leg on. And you do it with the rest of your limbs. And it's that simple. Again, just molding the pieces into each other. And it really just connects and sticks together because it's a really sticky substance that we're working with. All right, onto the back legs. Just again, folding down, sticking right on there. It's actually turning out pretty good. I'm pretty excited for how this is gonna turn out. All right. Last leg, just, oh, try to keep it straight there. And just bend the leg into the body. So now we have a beautiful body for the elephant. I think that looks pretty darn good. What do you guys think? I'm sure you agree. <laughs> All right, now for the head. I'm gonna attach the head to the trunk. Same thing that you did with the limbs, you're just gonna push it on and spread it out and you can just make it whatever shape you'd like. I'm turning it because obviously trunks curl and it looks like that. And now I'm just going to make a little indents for the eyes, just so you know, a little bit of a shape there, you know, where everything is. I'm adding my ears on. I think my ears may be a little too large, but hey, go big or go home, right? We're just going to assume my elephant is going to grow into these big ears. Again, I just attach that on by just pressing them together and that's it. And now for the second ear, you just, same thing, just attach it. Wow, these are really big ears. All right, so that is the head of my elephant. And I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure elephants have tails, but I did forget that. So I'm just going to take a piece that I have left over and roll one last limb. And make a tail like that and just connect it on like so just with the other limbs you know make this tail a little stretchy why not okay so now we have everything on and we're going to attach the head hopefully this all stays on because i think this actually went pretty well and for the head it's going to be a little harder to attach on just because it's a little bigger part of the body but same thing just Squish the mold together and just adjust it on the body. And let's stretch these things out a little bit and just get everything in the right place. You know, smooth anything out that you see might have been incorrect. And there we go. You know, it's not perfect. But I know what it is. You guys know what it is. Oh, the ears are getting a little flimsy here. Again, this is a really stretchy material. So if you mess up, you can just squeeze it back and just keep going at it, you know? I think that looks a little better. So here we go. This is my elephant, guys. I think I would definitely give this maybe an 8 out of 10. Maybe I could have put a bit, little bit more um, time and attention on these large ears. I probably should have scaled these out. You know what? I'm just going to go ahead and fix it because everything is fixable. So let's just take off a little bit of skin. And just, you know, start over. We're not in a rush. Let's see if I can fix this. All right, so I'm going to flatten it out. There we go. Got my ear on. Okay, I think that's a better, more appropriate sized ear for my little elephant. You know, I think that's much better. Now for the second ear, 
Let's do the same thing. Take his old ear off. Just flatten it out. Boom. Second baby ear. Okay, so now my elephant was being a little smushed because I put it down. Let me just fix it. Okay, got the legs going down. Let's get the head back on here. All right. So here it is, guys. This is the final product. My little elephant. I think this turned out really cute. Let me know what your spirit animal is and how yours turned out. I love to see your animals, but that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope to see you again on our next activity. We have lots of amazing artworks to choose from from Camp Harview, who donated so many um, art supplies to us. So I hope to see you again soon, and please come back. All right, have a great day, guys.